Hey guys, what is going on? Stingray Von Gray here, bringing you a Black Ops 3 video here today. And today, guys, I have a crazy gameplay for you here on the map breach. As you can see there, I had the Peacekeeper out. I decided to change guns because Peacekeeper just... I don't know, I didn't think it was going to work for this match. I don't know, I just had a feeling it wasn't going to. So I got the VMP out, as you can see right here. I'm running it with a uh, quick draw grip and stock. Um, I got the CWL camo on it, which is actually a really sick camo. You guys have to go check it out before it's gone. Um, it's only 200 COD points, I believe, to buy it. I don't think you can get it with crypto keys. Let me know down in the comments if you can. I'm not really sure. Um, if you guys know more than I do about it, um, let me know. Like I said, down in the comments. So anyways, more about the gameplay here today, guys. I am playing on breach and we have a couple friends on dom just having a little bit of fun actually a really chill day to just play uh play domination there wasn't too many like tryhards on so it was actually uh, a lot of fun and um i've been meaning to go over this i i lied to you guys the other day when i said there wasn't news in cod and that was because i literally haven't looked like seen any videos or anything in the longest time but I realized it was a mistake as soon as that video came out. Um, there's been so much going on. As you can see from my last video, I did um, the weapon. They have a new thing in the supply drop, I guess I should say. And it's a guaranteed weapon, like ranged weapon, and a guaranteed melee weapon, and 10 free rare supply drops. But it's either 500 crypto keys you can spend on it, or you can spend 2,500 COD points. But it's only a one-time use. You can only spend 2,500 COD points on it once. And same with Crypto Keys. You can only, like, if you have 1,000, you can only spend 500 on it to get it. But you can do the 2,500 COD points and the 500 Crypto Keys if you want. So technically, you can get it twice. Um, so yeah, I did it with the uh, COD points today. And, or yesterday, I should say. And you guys will have to see the video. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's in the channel. Um, I think it's titled, You Won't Believe What I Got, or I Finally Got It, one of the two. But you guys will have to see what I got, and I was so hype about it. It was, oh man, finally. Like, I was, I really, really wanted it when I spent the 13,000. COD points on it, but I didn't get it, but I finally, finally got it. Go check the video out if you haven't seen it. It's absolutely sick. But, um, right now, um, back to the gameplay, the VMP shot was crispy. Like, you'll see in this gameplay, like, I'm just snapping on people with it. It was, it was just on today. And, like, right now I'm on a 20. And, these guys just couldn't touch me at all until right here like what was I? I think I was yeah 22 and 0 and this guy hits me at the rift E9 which really really sucked but you guys will see what happens in this video here I'm not gonna tell you what uh what happens I will at the end of the video I'll let you know what actually ends up happening so or I guess how long it happened for but um yeah I mean I was just carving these guys up and this has been like one of the best setups I've ever ran on the VMP. I used to run it with a quick draw grip long barrel but the stock is so nice man like people can't touch you if you're strafing on them you know they just nobody can touch you and it's really really awesome so if you guys haven't set the VMP up like this go ahead and set it up absolutely sick and if you guys haven't noticed yet that is the CWL camo absolutely sick I know I mentioned that already, but man, is that thing nice. I'm sorry. I'll get back to it. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, if you guys are, like, trying to get nuclears and stuff like that, it's it's just so, it's so easy. If you have, like, five other friends that are pretty good and can get, uh, haters and that are running, like, non-lethal streaks and more about, like, the non-lethal streaks. But what I think is annoying is like this dude that we weren't like he wasn't in our party or nothing But like he was on our team and he kept calling in like wraiths and raps and it, it was just stupid like I threw up my haters for him to get raps. I mean and like 
I mean, my score just killed his because I was using support. And I think you only get like 15, 15 points for every raps kill, so it's kind of like pointless, honestly. It just makes your head and score look better. And I'll, uh, you know, it, like, it really isn't. But, I mean, you know, some people like it, but I've learned how to, you know, like, like my gun skill has grown so much from running non-lethals, and I don't have anything against you if you do run lethals. I run them every now and again. Very, very rarely, but I run them. But it's just, it's so much more fun without them. Like, like, as you guys see in my, like, my gameplay here, like, I'm, you know, I'm carving these guys up with my gun. It's just so much more fun to watch for me personally is, like, someone's gun skill and, you know, their ability to maneuver and work a spawn with just their gun. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, the haters just so nice like I didn't make any stupid challenges because of the hater and if you like if you notice I only have I think we only were playing with like two other people and there was only one other guy on my team I think that was you know throwing up haters and we basically just kept you know uh, lapping them over and over and over again and it makes getting gun streaks and stuff just so much easier like I'm on another 20 right now already after I just got one that uh, first round. And I didn't like realize this till now, but I probably could have got a double nuke if I was going in hard enough. Like, if I was just, I would have kept going in. Oh man, I could have had it, I think. These guys were like stupid, to be honest. Like they must not be very experienced Call of Duty players, but like they were just running into walls and stuff. It was, it was kind of funny to be honest, but I mean, I don't know if they were just messing around or what, which I think they might have been, because some of these guys were just, like, screwing around with stuff. But it worked out for me well. I mean, I got a really, really good gameplay out of it. There's a Brutal right there. Um, we got another Hater ready. Um, I think that's 27 kills right now. We're moving close into the nuke. There's, I think that counts as 28. I'm not really sure. I'll have to see right here, because if I get two kills and I don't get the nuclear medal... I don't know for sure. There's one. Um, there's two. So no, it doesn't count as a nuclear. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's a nuke right there. Nuke and unstoppable. And, like, if you want to go on a long gun streak, this is something that's probably common knowledge, but I never think of stuff like this. Like, that challenge I just did with that guy was behind the bar. Like, I should have just... Like, normally, I would have challenged that, but, like, for some reason, I was just... I was just thinking so hard because I was going in on these guys, like... It, it really makes you think, like... I don't know, like, it gives you a different thought process and everything when you're when you're going in. You just have such a good rhythm going on. You just... Your thought process and approach to everything is just so much better. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of the game, I think. Yeah, that's the end of it. And I'll show my final score right here. It was 61 and 1. Absolutely carved those guys up. Had so much fun that game. I ended up with a 38 gun streak, if you guys were wondering. I told you I'd tell you at the end. It's a 38 gun streak. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, drop a like, um, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day. Later.